Princess Latifa at UN hearing. Two of UK's top human rights lawyers have stepped up the legal campaign to highlight the plight of the imprisoned Princess Latifa in Dubai. Alan Jones QC and Rodney Dixon QC provided crucial new evidence on her behalf to the United Nations in Geneva this week. The legal eagles representing the princess have made a special appeal to the United Nations to take urgent action to protect her and get her released without delay. Sheikh Latifa bin Mohammed Al Maktoum is a 33-year-old daughter of the Dubai's billionaire ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Emirati princess has not been seen. Latifa's stepmother, Princess Haya, has left her Prime Minister husband, Latifa's father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Maktoum, and fled Dubai for London with her two children. Princess Haya is presently bringing proceedings in the High Court in London against her husband to retain custody over her children. The government of the UAE has submitted a statement to the UN denying that Princess Latifa has been detained. The UAE's response claimed that Latifa is alive, safe, and with her family in Dubai. Princess Latifa's lawyers have highlighted to the UN that the UAE's response is unfounded. Rodney Dixon QC said, in light of the available evidence, the claims of the UAE authorities are completely unsubstantiated. deeply concerned about her safety and well-being. Our concerns have only escalated following the decision by Princess Haya to flee Dubai with her two children because she fears for her life. We understand that Princess Haya's decision was strongly influenced by what she had learned to be the truth about her stepdaughter's treatment. The lawyers are urging the UN Working Group on enforced or involuntary disappearances WGEID, which is currently meeting in Geneva to promptly require the UAE authorities to provide precise details of Latifa's whereabouts. They are also asking to, for concrete and genuine guarantees for her safety and welfare, immediate access to her and her immediate release by the UAE. Lawyers are also asking that the case be independently investigated by the UAE authorities and the UN so that those responsible for the human rights violations can be held to account. Princess Haya's recent escape is also significant as she had previously invited former Irish President Mary Robinson to visit Princess Latifa in Dubai in December 2018. The meeting was widely criticized as a publicity stunt aimed at convincing the outside world that Princess Latifa was in good health and happy in the UAE, a country she spent almost two decades trying to escape. Now that Princess Haya has herself fled the UAE, it further confirms that this visit was a sham designed to hide the truth about Princess Latifa's situation. David Hay, a human rights lawyer who runs the Free Latifa campaign with Tina Hoheinen and Latifa's cousin Marcus Asbury, said this is a very significant moment for Latifa. The UAE has some most difficult questions to answer and cannot simply ignore such an esteemed organization as the UN. The UN are evidently not convinced by Dubai's use of smoke, mirrors and public stunts to cover up a brutal, violent kidnap of a young woman. Her friends and crew, it's now some 18 months since we first complained to the UN and and we hope for a positive outcome very soon. Tina Hoheinen, the Finnish best friend of Princess Lotiva, was kidnapped alongside her 18 months ago, said, after attending the UN today with David and Rodney and meeting for the second time this year with the WGEID, we really believe and hope this could be a vital step to finally winning the freedom of Latifa. The world will be watching closely.